Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you how to run Ubuntu 24.04 on Windows 11 using WSL. Whether you are a developer or just curious about Linux, this step-by-step -step guide will help you to get started. If you find this video tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorials. Before we begin, let's quickly talk about WSL. It stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It allows you to run Linux distributions like Ubuntu directly on your Windows system without the need for a virtual machine. It is perfect for the developers who want to use Linux tools on Windows. All right, let's get started. Before we install Ubuntu 24.04, there are few prerequisites. We need a running Windows 11 system. Make sure your system has virtualization enabled in the BIOS. You also need administrative privileges on your computer. Without any further delay, let's jump into the actual step. The first step is to enable WSL on your Windows 11 system. For that, start the menu, search here PowerShell. Start it as an administrator. We need to execute two commands here in order to enable WSL and virtualization features. I'll save these two commands in the description of the video for your reference. Copy the first command. Hit enter. The output confirms that the command has been executed successfully. Now copy the second command. This command will enable the virtualization platform feature. Hit enter. Perfect. The output shows that the second command has been executed successfully. In order to make these changes into the effect, we need to reboot the system. So reboot your system once. Once the system is back online after the reboot, update your WSL to the latest version. For that, again, start the PowerShell with administrative rights. Run the command WSL space hyphen hyphen update. The output confirms that my WSL is already updated to the latest version. All right. Next step is to set the WSL2 as a default version. For that, run the command WSL space hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version space 2. Hit enter. Okay, the command has been executed successfully. It means uh, WSL2 has been set as a default version. Next, install Ubuntu 24.04. Before that, list the available Linux distributions. Run the command WSL space hyphen hyphen list space hyphen hyphen online. In the output, I can see Ubuntu 24.04 Linux distribution is available. In order to install this distribution, run the command WSL space hyphen hyphen install space hyphen D is for distribution followed by the distribution name. In our case, distribution name is Ubuntu hyphen 24.04. Hit enter. It will start installing Ubuntu 24.04 on your system. It may take four to five minutes depending upon your internet speed. Once it is installed successfully, it will prompt us to set the initial username and password for our Ubuntu. Enter the username and password for your Ubuntu instance. All right, output confirms that installation is successful. Now we are logged in automatically into our 
Ubuntu 24.04 instance. Another way to access this uh, Ubuntu 24.04 instance from the start menu, search Ubuntu, click on open. All right, now run the sudo space apt update command in order to update the repositories index. Next, install all the updates so that you have the latest features and security updates. For that, run the command sudo apt upgrade and why all right all the updates has been installed successfully in order to manage this linux distribution go back to the powershell log out from this uh, Linux distribution to list the WSL instances you can run the command WSL space hyphen L space hyphen V it will show us the list of the Linux distributions which are currently running on our system as you can see as of now we have one instance that is Ubuntu 24.04 status is running and its version is 2 in order to stop or shut down this instance we have to run the command WSL space hyphen hyphen set down and the instance name. If you rerun the previous command, you will see the state has been changed from running to stopped. In order to start this instance again, you can run the command WSL space hyphen D space instance name. Great, we have successfully started our instance again and we are automatically logged in into our instance. In case you want to uninstall this Linux distribution completely from your system. For first, you need to unregister it using the command WSL space came out from the, this distribution first and WSL space hyphen hyphen unregister space uh, your distribution name. Once this command is executed successfully, then again go to the start menu, search Ubuntu here and then click on uninstall by doing so it will be uninstalled completely from your system that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have found it useful and informative please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have any questions or any queries please feel free to drop in the comment section thank you bye have a nice day